everybody, this is Steve with Smitty's Fly Box. Uh, today we are tying an egg sucking leech for the September beginner fly tying box. So it's basically a woolly bugger with a uh, egg on it. So I don't know about leeches sucking on eggs, but I know fish like leeches and eggs, so this fly combines that and it seems to catch fish. So just using a regular woolly bugger hook, this is a number six. I'm just going to lay down a little bit of thread and keep in mind I'm going to tie most of the fly from here back. This front part I'm going to leave open for the egg. So the first thing we need to do is tie in a tail. So I have some black marabou here. So basically one, one good feather here and I can comb it down to where I want the uh, length of the tail to be the length of the hook shank. So about like that right there. So let's pinch it down about right there. And we're going to tie it down up towards the front of the hook just to build us a nice even underbody. So just carefully tie that in and then hold on to this marabou with your left hand. And as you tie towards the back, you can slide your fingers along with it. And we're going to tie this down all the way back to our tie in point, which we refer to as directly above the barb of the hook. And then our tail will, tail will stick out there nice and pretty. We can snip off that front part. So I'm going to tie in a little flashaboo along the uh, tail there. So let's just take one strand and just hold it in place there with your thumbnail. Tie that in. Take the front half and fold it back over on the opposite side. So it looks like that. And tie that down. And that'll add a little flare in the tail there. Okay, now we're going to take some uh, small wire. I have copper wire here. And let's lay in a piece of wire along the side of the hook there. And secure that in. All the way back to our tie-in point right there. And now we'll take some chenille and we can just use our thumbnail and expose that little thread core there and secure that in right there at that same spot. Make good tight wraps. Make sure we've tied it down right at our tie-in point. And now we're ready to advance our thread to about three quarters up the hook shank. I'm gonna take this chenille and we'll wrap this over the top away from us. We'll build the body of the fly. So don't forget that wire there at the back. That's easy, that's an easy thing to forget. Now to tie this off, I just hold the chenille straight up with my right hand, take the thread with my left hand and my bobbin, and just drop it over. Just drop it over about three times, and that'll tie down that uh, chenille. Make a couple good wraps there just to make sure we've tied that in. Alright, now we're ready for some hackle. Now when you get hackle, strung hackle, it's all together, you'll get different types of feathers. This is kind of a long, I'm sorry, a short, thick feather. This is more of a long, thin feather. We can use this for certain flies. For this fly, I like to make it a little bit neater. Uh, I'm going to use this thinner, longer piece. This part of the feather I'm not going to use, so let's just pop that off and give myself a little bit of the stem. So this is the butt section. And that would be the tip. Make sure you get a long enough piece that you can, because uh, we're going to wrap this and so we don't want to run out of feather. So to tie this in, let's tie that stem down right there and make sure that's secured in there nice and tight so it doesn't slip out. And then we can, so we've got that full feather hanging out the back. We're going to wrap this over the top away from us and we're going to work our way back towards the back of the uh, fly and it'll splay out like that. Just making nice even wraps as I work my way back. And we're getting down to the tip there. It's getting a little difficult to hold on to. Okay, now remember my wire that we have laying back here. I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to wrap that over the opposite direction. Over the top away from us. Make one good turn right behind there at the back. And now I'm going to just crisscross or counter wrap that going forward. And just wiggle it through that hackle so it ties it down. 
but it doesn't mat it down. Once I'm to the front there, just make a couple good turns and we'll tie that off just the same way we tied the chenille off. Drop our, our uh, bobbin over, we can uh, clip off that wire. And you may have a little bit of that tip of that feather still sticking back there. A lot of times that'll just pop off. Okay, so we're going pretty good now. Let's just make a couple good turns there to tie everything in. Now we're ready for our egg. So I've got some uh, bright colored chenille. And basically what we're going to do there, just give ourselves some of that thread core. Hold it in there right behind the eye and secure that thread core down. And then we can take our thread right behind the eye of the hook. And now we'll wrap this chenille about two times. Just two, two wraps is all one, two, and then we'll tie that off, hold it straight up in the air, and drop our thread over with our left hand again. And now we can snip this off. Be careful if you try to come too close, you might snip your thread. So just hold it out there to where you can uh, cut that off. Now I'll just build a small head right there and, and tie down any uh, little frays that I have and I have enough room to do our whip finish. Right there behind the eye of the hook, put a nice clean whip finish. And we have a egg sucking leech. <laughs>